What certainly makes the Jesuit work unique is the spirituality and the great gift of St. Ignatius. The spirituality that calls us to the Majus, to be contemplatives in action, firmly rooted in Jesus, but deeply involved in the work of transforming the world. More and more people who are working in Jesuit institutions are experiencing the spiritual exercises. You can witness people going through it, but to go through it yourself and pray through those exercises. It was a gift of freedom and a gift of love for me. I fell in love with Jesus Christ. As a lay partner who's been able to collaborate pretty closely with Jesuits, I've found that Jesuit spirituality is something that is deeply meaningful to so many people who don't feel called to become a Jesuit or who cannot become a Jesuit, but feel very much a part of the work of the Jesuits in California province. I think there are a lot of people that really envy the Jesuit formation. This very specific way that you move through something. So I'm hoping that the more people are partnering with Jesuits in the lay world, that we will start having more of an actual formation. The big challenge we have now is to, how do we structure that? Do we need some kind of structure to have groups of lay people who share in our vision, our spirituality, and that keep connecting with us? So I would like that that happens with the lay people at the center. So that it's not institutions that we create, to support our work, but we're both are real partners. In Orange County, they're training lay people to lead the exercises. They're not like a retreat center where like people come to them. They provide the retreats wherever they're needed. So they're kind of like a mobile retreat team. I'm a big proponent of the spiritual exercises for everyone involved and to have every school, every institution, every administrator have a sense of what the creative spark is. To have everyone come on board with this language that's older than words and older than time. In all of the noise and all of the buzz of modern life, that's probably as buzzy in California as anywhere in the world, all of our works are still finally for that one purpose, that people might listen to that quiet, gentle voice uh, in their hearts. The nugget is twofold. It's a willingness to believe that I am loved unconditionally. That's the first part of the exercises, but it's something I have to come back to over and over again because just about everything else in the world contradicts that. It tells me I'm not enough. The second part of that is the discipline of prayer. The discipline to just get out of my head sometimes and trust my heart and, and really look into my imagination and all those other places where God is alive and well.